Here's the common problem that a lot of us have with these boilers. Uh, it's a microgenus. Uh, I don't know if you can see, but it's lit up and the spark is still sparking like mad. What happens is eventually it will send a signal to the circuit board saying that the flame has not lit and it will go into block. Sometimes stops, sometimes goes on for a while, but it's a pain. This is a short video about how to fix your Ariston Microgenius boiler when it keeps going into block because it doesn't recognize that the flame has uh, lit. You can tell by looking through the little window here and seeing that once the boiler is alight the spark carries on sparking. Uh, it's a problem with the circuit board which Ariston have modified now uh, and changed the circuit boards. But if you've got an early one like mine and have already paid once to change the circuit board this is what you have to do to save yourself a lot of cash. First of all, we need to get rid of the power, so I've unplugged it. I've already taken the screw out of the bottom, so I need to open it up like this. And we need to... And you can see mine is in fantastic condition. I need to unscrew these to get to the printed circuit board. circuit board. Take this screw off the front here which is holding the circuit board on and then we can unplug it. This is the tricky part because there's not a lot of play. Get that one off first and then you have to undo these jacks Some of them are jolly difficult. That's the main power one. Right, I'm going to show you how easy it is to repair this problem with the Ariston boiler. So many people have it and all it needs is to have that replaced. I bought 10 off eBay, they only cost £3 and so it should be quite simple. Just need to pull this one off, pop the new one on and we should be away. So, right. This one here. And this one here.
should push straight through. And yeah. That's it. Changed. Really that simple. And that will save you about £160 plus the fee to install it. Now to put it back in. It's quite simple. I like to start over at this side and put the flame sensor on. All you have to do is make sure that those connected clips are all pushed home and well connected. And then just pop this back in place as one central screw that holds it, which has a little washer. So on goes that. two switches that in place and that has four screws one in each corner take this out to get to the back ones There it goes. On it goes. And let's have a look if we've resolved the problem. There we go. No sparking. The problem is resolved. Thanks for watching.